Hey there kind people, it's me Yunbin. Welcome back to my review of Produce 101 Japan The Girls. This episode continues with the remaining performance of position battle. So I will mainly talk about the performance. The episode start with Beijing. If you watch the live stream on their YouTube channel, you probably know that all the clips which had the song sound was muted to avoid copyright. And as far as I know, even before choosing the song, they had to take a permission to feature that song in the show. That's why we usually don't see any copyright issue and I believe even if you upload a song cover you still get a copyright unless you get a permission from the company that has the distribution right and the funny thing is the original singer Chan Mina was a surprise guest slash judge in this episode but they still needed to mute the song to avoid copyright and because of that I miss the freestyle rap they do with Candy 369 by the subs it seems like they are back bitching about Yumiki which sounds so much fun uh, however this performance reminds me of VVS performance on girls planet it's like they are repeating the same pattern the ending of every line follows the same rhythm that's the difference between amateur rapper and a poor rapper more or less i like i'm freaking woman and i'm freaking beautiful part other than that i didn't enjoy that much but it seems like i started liking keiko it is the first episode where i found her funny the next rap performance was shutdown where i feel kotone has a hidden leadership quality although she wasn't a leader in this team but she stood out helping others and helping them sharing their thoughts. She even stood out in the performance, the voice she makes, the energy she has and the expression she makes and the combination of all of this was perfect. Kokona did a holding mic upside down thing in this performance which was badass but her future is turned. By the way the reaction she has when she saw Chanmina was hilarious. I might also have the same reaction if I ever seen my idol out of nowhere. I don't know what's cute factor in this performance, they changed the chorus cause can the 180 said so which was quite out of place but Iano's cuteness in the pick me part made it bearable and Momona what to say about her new style she slayed in the rap her expression her moves were really awesome and I have rewind this part and this part so many times but it was still not enough so I started watching her fan cam on repeat you are seeing 1 million views on her fan cam at least 10 of them was mine the first dance performance we got to see was anti-fragile where the only contestant who had high rank was Nano that's why she didn't fight for her parts which was a great team quality. By the way was Reno a therapist before she became a singer? Really every episode she has a therapy session. However we get to see more teamwork among them while Rimika wanted to do a sexy concept they changed the choreography to sexy. Emma was really cute when she did this. In the actual performance Emma looked more sexy than Rimika. I guess Emma was made to do sexy dance. That's the main of flop sexy dancer Aki. Fujimoto Ayaka totally looked like Kazuo. She even got her part. Nano and Miu was quite good as well. But this performance doesn't have any wow moment. Probably Ayaka's flip and Nano's leg dance were near to that but the performance wasn't that noticeable. Except for Amy's sexiness. However, there was some good things about the performance. In my last video, I complained they didn't lip sync so the performance doesn't feel alive. Thankfully, here they tried to manage their lips. That's the reason I will put this song above the others. The next dance performance was Rocketeer. There is nothing particular to say about this performance. Was it good? Yeah, but it doesn't feel that much different to original one. Although I watched the original just once, more or less it has the same energy. Although how they perform in practice really connected with me, but I didn't feel that much connection with the actual performance. Certainly Ran, Suju, Sakura and Kotone stood out in this performance and they tried to lip sync which was a plus point for this performance. The first vocal performance we got to see was Omakage. In this team, Momoka was upset because she couldn't get to do rap. So they tried to add a rap in the performance, which sounded super cool to me. But the arrangement duo didn't think it was a great idea. So they just threw that rap into the dance From there, Kaying Momoka was born. She started crying from the moment she saw all the rap songs were full. To be honest, I felt that was unnecessary. I have a mindset that if I don't get anything in particular, that means it wasn't made for me so I just move on. Rap wasn't in your luck so you have to move on and focus what you got. On the other hand Kokoro faced popular to expressing herself into the song. Then we get another great judge moment when Ayama Telma turns out all the lights and makes Kokoro sing. I don't know if all the judges here have a therapist degree but it seems like it. About the performance it was great. The energy of it was amazing. A big credit goes to Momoka for that. Her deep voice is a significant reason this was 
of it sounded so wonderful. Also, a big hit goes to actual song because it was a great song. The last performance of this episode was First Love. One thing I noticed about this group, everyone has high ranks. Probably that's the reason they had so much confidence and their confidence was the reason they slayed. Here we got another therapy session by Ayama Matalma because they never went through a heartbreak. They are living in a great world and because of that, they are unable to feel the meaning behind the song. Also, Kokura is bad with expression which we already saw in the audition round and it is still the same but a little improvement we saw in the ending fairy. However, the thing they always play is the performance. Their vocal are heavenly. The moment Ayane started singing the song gave me goosebumps. Their voice straight up touches my heart. How did they create that awesome voice? Damn, it was the best performance for me. Then after all the performance, the result were revealed. I thought they would do like Girls Planet or Boys Planet. The highest team average in every position will get a certain benefit and the highest voted trainee in every position will get a extra benefit. But it seems like it was a totally solo round. Only one person got all the benefit from each position. Keiko was first in rap. In my opinion, it should have been Momona or Kotone. Momoka was first among vocals, which I can disagree, but Ayane, Reno, Kokona, and Nagumi were also great. Lastly, in dance, Ran was first, which I totally agree with but that means run run team loses which means they will have now zero live four. Koto was also in that group but I don't think that matters that much because it was just 40 or something vote. And lastly the MBTA segment is back. This segment is my favorite. I really like it. Now here are my new top 11. As you can see, first Koto, second Ran, third Ayane, fourth Momona, fifth Kokona, sixth Kokoro, seventh Nano, eight Fujimoto Ayaka, ninth Mio, ten Seina, and eleven under Yo. You can see Nano is in my top 11 now, and Sakura and Mio is not. There is no particular reason for that. I just really started liking Nano. I wanted her to be here, and there is no one other than Mio I can replace. And Ayane is in third cause I am addicted to her voice like I am getting addicted to survival show you might be following university kid too I will recommend you to watch my video on that too also if you want to support me you can join my patreon or you can just follow me on instagram if you did that I will see you there until then have an awesome life